This week we are doing a patterns photo challenge and this is a great one to start out our new weekly challenge series for anybody who is stuck at home, maybe the weather's not too good, maybe they have toddlers running around behind them because you really can capture patterns anywhere. So I'm in my backyard and I'm just gonna walk around and try to capture some patterns. I'm shooting with my Fujifilm X-T4 with the 35 millimeter lens on there. So let's go and see what I get. And I'll be editing them later on in the video as well. All right, while the boys are playing with their remote control cars they got for Christmas. I mean, my backyard, I'm lucky has a plethora of patterns. I gotta remind myself, it's not just textures I'm looking at. It's a repeating pattern. The other thing uh, in terms of settings is that I'm looking to get everything in focus for this. I'm not looking for that shallow depth of field. There's not a ton of light out here. It is an overcast day, which means even lighting, which again for patterns is great. I'm not trying to get creative necessarily with lighting, although you can capture some really interesting patterns when there's nice harsh shadows and things like that. But for my purpose, I'm just looking for some sort of repeating pattern that I'm gonna get all in focus with even lighting. I see this ivy over here, which is pretty cool. This is kind of interesting. I mean, not really interesting, but in terms of a pattern. Trying to shoot this straight on to get the lines as straight as possible. Some of that stuff I can fix and post as well. <laughs> that was cool. This is definitely the coolest one yet. Just a rusty old fire pit. So I haven't even looked at those photos, but it's the next day and I'm at this park with my kids and I thought I might be able to find some more interesting patterns over here too. So let's go see what I can find. Let's see, do you see any patterns? Looking for something often like man-made objects, fences, benches, buildings. That's something to look out for. Uh, here in this natural environment, I'm also looking for shadows and lines and things that might create a cool pattern. Don't see anything yet, but I see these uh, tennis courts over here that might uh, have something interesting to look at. That, is that the secret way? Yes, I always love those frames within a frame. All right, this is something interesting right here. So kind of a couple of good ones, I think. I really like the ones where I was trying to get a pattern, but with some sort of subject matter behind, whether it was the kids on the playground playing in the shadow or standing next to the chain link fence or overall, I kind of like those photos a little bit more. I think that's one thing you can do when you are doing these challenges. It's not just think of, I'm gonna get specifically what the challenge does, like a pattern, but how can there be patterns in the photo uh, as a whole. So here I am back in Lightroom and I've already gone in and did some of these edits. I didn't want to make this a full like walkthrough tutorial to keep it a little bit brief, but I will show you some of what I've done. Here are some of my favorite patterns photos that I captured. And as you can see the preview down below, I did make a lot of them black and white. I think that lends itself to turning just a normal everyday photo into something um, that shows that pattern even more and showing the contrast and really boosting the contrast of my photos. A lot of these fence photos um, are not too interesting. I like the ones where it's a little bit more obscure, more creative like this one here with the shadow that is on the ground. On this one, I really boosted the texture, clarity, dehaze, filters to get that sort of grunchiness. 
I can press the backslash key to show you the before and after really easily. And here I've popped up the information of each of these photos so you can see I was shooting at f22.8, f22, f2.8. This, These were all on my 35 millimeter lens on my Fuji X-T4, which crop sensor is more like a 50 millimeter uh, prime lens. This was a cool, the back of a bench, which I thought was a really cool pattern. Again, I think the black and white makes it stand out and pop a little bit. This one here in color definitely, uh, I think, makes sense to have it in color. Sort of the breaking up of a pattern. A couple more of the fence down below. And kind of like I talked about, out in the field, having the patterns with a subject is kind of interesting. Really brought down those blacks and shadows and even the highlights here you can see to make it a lot darker, bring up that contrast. Here's a photo that I didn't show that just a black and white floor, but I the tile and the texture on the floor I thought was pretty interesting. And this one, not really a pattern, kind of, I guess, anything could be a pattern but the the texture the pattern of these leaves and this little olive tree with these shadows down below i actually really like this one too um this one the natural pattern of these ivy leaves and i boosted the colors and contrast quite a bit i started out with the i believe it was my bold contrast one filter that's the Video School Bold Contrast and Colors presets that are all available for free. Just head over to photographyandfriends.com and you can get all of our preset packs um, for free as a member of our courses. Uh, so a lot of these I actually started with a black and white filter, I believe, or one of these bold contrast filters. And then I just made some tweaks and adjustments as I saw fit. This one I cropped square-ish so that it was a little bit more symmetrical. Here's that one from inside the, the, the uh, barbecue pit, fire pit with the reflection, which is pretty cool. So anyways, just wanted to show you the behind the scenes. I don't know, what's your favorite one? Um, I think if I had to pick one right this second, it would be probably this one right here. One of, probably this one, just pretty organic pattern of the shadow maybe this top down one is pretty cool too all right thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this photo challenge behind the scenes video and get out there take your photos post your photos to the photography and friends plus community it's free right now or now it's free for anyone to join previously it was a paid membership thing now it's completely free to join head over to photographyandfriends.com slash plus it's a place where you can get support inspiration post photos for critiques you could join our weekly live sessions which are office hours interviews with other photographers and then also this is where you can post your weekly live uh, photo challenge submissions and we will be going through some of them every week during our live stream to talk about uh, what we like, what we don't like, how you can improve, and all of that kind of stuff. So uh, head over to photographyandfriends.com slash plus to join. Um, but most importantly, I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a beautiful day, and we'll see you in another one. Bye.